Hey kids, we got our day four resurrection egg devotion. And here we're going to open up our number four egg to reveal what's inside. Ooh, I'm so excited. Drum roll, please. Brrr. What do we got? We've got some praying hands. Can you see that? Some praying hands. So this story is about Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus went to pray with his followers, with his disciples. So we're going to be in Mark chapter 14, starting in verse 32. It says, And they went to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John and began <clears throat> to be greatly distressed and troubled. He said to them, My sorrow, it, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch. And going a little further, he fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Remove this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. And he came and found them sleeping and said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again, he went and pray, went away and prayed, saying the same words. And again, he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy. They did not know what to answer him. And he came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of the sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. And we know from our day two devotion, what happens that Jesus is betrayed by his follower Judas and he's arrested. And uh, But in this story, we know that Jesus is greatly troubled. He is very upset. He knows he's going to be a sacrifice for sin. You know, we face consequences for our sin. We do something wrong. We get punished. Jesus never did anything wrong. He's never been punished for sin. Um, and so this is very hard. He's taking on all of the sin for all people for his sacrifice on the cross. This is very difficult, a very hard thing. So he does what we should do in a difficult situation. He goes to pray and he goes to spend time with his father. And he says, Father, if there's any way to take this cup, please do it. But you know what? If there's any way to take this situation away, uh, but it's not my will, it's your will, God. And so what a great reminder that Jesus e exhibits faith in God's plan, even in a tough time. You know, this is a great reminder to us also what the disciples do. They are not strong enough to even stay awake for the time Jesus is praying. And three times they fall asleep and Jesus has to wake them up. Um, have you ever fallen asleep praying or gotten tired praying? I know I have. Uh, it's a good reminder that we're not strong in and of ourselves. We need God's help to be strong. Jesus is strong. Jesus was able to endure the cross. Jesus was able to do all that God called him to do. Um, and we need God's help to do that. We need Jesus to save us and to come into our lives to help us to live for him. We can't live for Jesus on our own. We have to have Jesus in our lives we have to have the Holy Spirit in our lives helping us to, to know him and to grow. So when you face a difficult situation, go to the Lord in prayer. He will help you. He is always there to listen and to help you no matter what you're facing. Thanks for listening. Let me say a quick prayer for us and we'll be, we'll be done. Father, we thank you for this day. Jesus, thank you for how you fulfilled your Father's will that we can trust and know that you save us and you care for us and you protect us. Jesus, we thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, kids. Have a great day. God bless.